Hello dear doers and welcome back! In the previous video we created our first product, our awesome Sharkasm t-shirt. Since then our business grew in size and we now need to manage our stock as well as the new colors and sizes we've got for that t-shirt. So let's see how all this works in Odoo. So here we are in our database and I will go to my website application so that I can actually uh, activate the variance option. Um, just like this, I can save this option and now I can configure my variants. If I go to my website, I can click on my product and just like this, start configuring it. So now I'm in uh, my product for the configuration and I have a tab attributes and uh, variants where I can add, for example, a size. I have my product available in sizes M and L. And I have also different colors. I have the blue color that I can add here and the green one. Once I have done this, I can actually save my product if I want and I can access the variants tab. I want to actually add um, a photo for my blue product, so I will go here and I will change this photo here to uh, choose the picture that corresponds to my blue product. My blue t-shirt is now configured and I can also do that for the size L that is just here and add a color here. Oh, Sarah, I forgot. Uh, since I ordered the blue color last time, the price increased, and I would like to make the blue color, the T-shirt, uh, one euro extra now, if it's possible. Well, of course this is possible. So in my Attributes and Variants tab, I can actually configure my color. And for the blue one, we decided to set it one euro extra, as discussed with Tom. Now, this one is going to cost one euro extra than the green one. In the general information, since I've installed the inventory application recently, I now have a new product type, which is a storable product. And if I save, I now have two different options that appear here that will allow me to handle my stock. In the sales tab, I also want to handle some extra information. So I want to continue selling if I'm out of stock. I want to show available quantity if I'm below five units, and I will add an out of stock message uh, for my customers. Now, let's add a few quantities for this product. I have actually only bought two products for um, the blue one and two for the green one, and only in M, because for now we don't have time to, uh, we didn't have time to buy more. Now, if I go to my product on my website, I can actually see that everything has applied. So I only have two units in stock for the M in blue and it costs 16 euros instead of 15. In the green one, it costs 15 euros. If I choose the L size, I'm out of stock. Same for the blue one. That's all for this video. I hope it's been helpful to you. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.